Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, express the matrix A as the sum of symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix. So first let us learn that for a square matrix A with real entries, A plus A transpose is the symmetric matrix and A minus A transpose is the skew symmetric matrix. And the square matrix A can be expressed as the sum of skew symmetric matrix and the symmetric matrix. That is, A can be expressed as A plus A transpose divided by 2 plus A minus A transpose divided by 2. So let's start with the solution. And we are given the square matrix A with elements 1, 3, 5 in the first row, minus 6, 8, 3 in the second row, minus 4, 6, 5 in the third row. First, let us find A transpose, which we get on interchanging the rows and columns. Again, it will be a 3 cross 3 matrix. And 1 minus 6 minus 4 will be the elements of the first row. Then we have 3, 8, 6 and 5. 3, 5. First, let us find the symmetric matrix and it is given by A plus A transpose and now let us find A plus A transpose. So, on adding these two, we get 2 minus 3, 1 minus 3, 16, 9, 1, 9 and 10. So, let us check whether this is a symmetric matrix or not. Let us name this matrix as B. Now, B will be a symmetric matrix if we have B is equal to B transpose. So, let us find B transpose. Its element will be 2 minus 3, 1 in the first row. Minus 3, 16 and 9 in the second row. And in the third row we have 1, 9 and 10. And on comparing this with the matrix B which is A plus A transpose. We see that B transpose is equal to B. So this implies that A plus A transpose is a symmetric matrix. Right? Now let us find A minus A transpose. Now, 1 minus 1 gives 0. 3 minus of minus 6 gives 9. Similarly, here also we have 9. Then we have minus 9, 0, minus 3, minus 9, 3, and 0. Let us name this matrix as C. Now let us check whether A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix or not. So, for a matrix to be skew symmetric, we must have C equal to minus of C transpose. So, let us find first what is C transpose. Here C transpose is 0 minus 9 minus 9. Then we have 9, 0, 3. Then we have 9 minus 3, 0. And this is equal to minus taking common, we will get the matrix C. So here we have C is equal to minus C transpose. And this implies that A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. Now we will show that A can be expressed as A plus A transpose divided by 2 plus A minus A transpose divided by 2. So starting with the right hand side, we have A plus A transpose divided by 2 plus A minus A transpose divided by 2 where A plus A transpose is a symmetric matrix and A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. So A plus A transpose 
we have this matrix. So dividing each element by 2, we have 1 minus 3 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, 8, 9 by 2, 1 by 2, 9 by 2, and 5. Plus, A minus A transpose divided by 2. So here also dividing each element by 2, we have 0, 9 by 2, 9 by 2, minus 9 by 2, 0, minus 3 by 2, minus 9 by 2, 3 by 2, and 0. This is further equal to, and adding both the matrices, 1 plus 0 gives 1, minus 3 by 2 plus 9 by 2 gives 6 by 2, which is equal to 3. Then half plus 9 by 2 gives 10 by 2, which is equal to 5. Then we have minus 6. Then we have 8. Here on adding 9 by 2 with minus 3 by 2, we get 6 by 2, which is equal to 3. Here we have minus 4. Here we have 6 and 5. Now, on comparing this with the given matrix A, we find that this is equal to the matrix A. And thus, A is equal to A plus A transpose divided by 2 plus A minus A transpose divided by 2. And thus, this can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix. So, this completes the session. Bye and take care.